Good morning, my friends. Time for another fantastic Revit video. Okay, <clears throat> today's video comes from something that happened today, this morning. All right, I got a contact from a uh, one of my clients, and they said, hey, my elevation marker is visible in this one view, but when I go to this other view, it's gone, and I can't find it. I've tried everything. I'm trying to turn it on. Um, I checked in. I checked things that were hidden. I checked the view template. I checked visibility graphics. Nowhere. It's just not showing up. So could you please help me find it? And I found it quite quickly because I knew of a special little setting. And the setting is, let me just, I wrote it down so I wouldn't say it wrong right now. Hide, this is for um, elevation views, hide at scales coarser than dot, dot, dot. Hide at scales coarser than dot, dot, dot. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you why they put that in the um, in Revit and how it can be to your best, um, used best. Okay, best practices. All right, so let me share my screen with you. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm sharing. There we go. And my face is right there. Okay, here we go. I opened up just so that I had a good example. Revit, I believe this is Revit 2025. It comes with this really, really nice uh, sample project. I'm going to click on it so you can see it. There it is right there. Is that cool or what? Look what they give you. They give you this monster three, four story, four story building, five story building. And um, so we can do some examples in this quite a bit. It's a really nice uh, project. So I'm going to go to the first floor, L1. Okay. And here it is. And I'm going to just talk to you now. So look at this. When you're working on a, let's say, an eighth inch plan, Oftentimes, there are areas of the plan, like in this particular one on the first floor, there is a call out all the way around the kitchen, the cafe kitchen, okay? You got some seats out here, a couple bathrooms nearby, and then the kitchen. And there's a call out around it, okay? Another perfect example is right over here. There's a lobby, the lobby in the plan. And there's a call out around the lobby. The reason you do a call out is because you can't get all the annotation on the eighth inch plan that you want. Dimensions, tags, elevation markers, etc. You can't cram them all in or it makes it a cluttered area and you don't want it that. Okay, so what you do is you put a call around it and you bring it up to another scale, maybe a quarter inch. And at the quarter inch, that's where you put in all your tags. So let's just go there. And uh, I'm gonna, what you do is you got a call out here. I'm just gonna double click on the little marker that is going to that and you know attach to that view. I'm gonna double click it and it's gonna open up that view. Wait for it. Okay, there it is, enlarge plan. So this is where you dimension, okay? This is where you would put all your dimensions in. You would put your tags, you you know, wall tags, um, call out anything. If you've got terrazzo patterns on the floor, call things out, okay? This is the place to do it. This is the place to put interior elevation markers. You guys see this? In the middle of the plan is an interior elevation marker. On sheet A404, if you go to this one, this two, it's going to be looking this way. Three, it's going to be looking this way. Blah, blah, blah. You guys know about what these are, but let's go back to the first floor. You see this, this bathroom? It's already starting to get crowded out at a quarter inch scale, right? So take a look at level one. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> I mean, like, what? Look at the size of that marker at an eighth inch. You don't need it in both places. You only need it in the enlarged plan. 
So how do you get that off of the plans at eighth inch? That's where this special little uh, parameter for views comes in called, wait for it, hide at scales coarser than. And dot, 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 okay? So look at this, wait for it. If I, I'm just gonna do it two different ways. I'm gonna go to the enlarged, um, the lobby plan, okay? Let's go into this bathroom for a second. If I click on this two right here, or I'll just click on the four, it's easy, it, it highlights. I can try to get the two, it's picking other stuff. I know I can use the tab to get to it. But let's just pick on this four for a second. And get my face out of the way. Look over there at the properties. It says, it's about the, the it's right here. Okay, I was gonna count one, two, three, five, three, four. It's the eighth thing down. Uh, four, eight, nine, 10, it's about the 10th thing down. Who cares how many down it is? It says, hide at scales coarser than, and if I pull this out, you can see the whole word. There it is. Hide at scales coarser than one equals, one inch equals 400. That means this thing's basically gonna show up on every single view in your project, okay? So let me just take a look at this. If I change this to 300, 200, 100, 8, 1 to, 1 to 50, 1 to 40, 1 to 30, 1 to 20, all those are like site plans and enlarged, not enlarged plans, those are fine detail. Coarser plans, or when you're zoomed out and you're looking at the whole site or the whole county, okay? That's what they're talking about, course. Do you want this to hide at those coarser levels? Yes. And if you are in an enlarged plan, a quarter inch plan, an eighth inch plan is coarser. You guys is with me? So look at this. If I come all the way down here, and if I set it to hide it at scales that are coarser than eight, it will be on at the eighth inch plan. So number four over here, let me move my face again. Number four is gonna be on at the eighth inch plans and finer, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go back to L1, should be there still. Yes, look at that, it's still here, it's still here. Okay, let's go and fix that. I'm gonna click on the four, move my face, and then I'm going to hide it at scales that are coarser than this view, quarter. So if I change that to hide at scales coarser than quarter, anything else that is below a quarter in this drop down, down below, three sixteenths, eight, one inch equals 10 feet, all coarser levels, it's going to be gone. And I'm going to prove it because it's not gone here because that this is a quarter inch plan, but coarser than means eight. Wait for it. We're going to go to the eighth inch plan. But it's gone. Aha! All right. Now, if I'm sitting here in the eighth inch plan, I can also do the same thing. I can get rid of it from here. I don't have to keep jumping back and forth. I am going to tab, tab, pick it. I'm picking the two. You don't pick this big center circle that has the sheet number. You pick the actual view, okay? Because you can hide individual ones at different course levels, which is crazy. So I want this whole thing gone. If I take the two and get rid of it, um, hide at co scales coarser than, I'm going to put that at a quarter. Wait for it. Past it. Quarter, there it is. Boom, gone. But the whole thing stays until the last one goes away. You guys with me? So I'm going to click on the three. And I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to change it to hide at scale coarser than quarter. And because we're in an eighth inch plan, it's gone. Now watch this. When I get rid of the last one, tab to it and pick it, 
when I get rid of the last one, the whole circle is going to go away because there's no reason for it to be here unless there's a view attached to what sheet it's on. Okay, you guys get me. So here we go. Change this to hide at coarser than quarter. Boom. So you guys saw it disappeared. The circle goes away. That shows what the sheet number it's on and the view marker goes away. So you don't have to have these um, objects in here in your eighth inch plans if you only want them on the quarter inch plans. Okay. So what you do is you look around and I'm just looking at through this project and I see other opportunities. In the eighth inch plans, they have a call out going to an enlarged plan for the kitchen, but they've got these gigantic markers sitting right in the middle of, of this view. They need to be set the same way. And I'm just gonna do them really fast and then we're done. Tab to the four, got it, okay? Hide at scales coarser than a quarter. Gone. And tab, 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 pick. Hide at scales coarser than one quarter. And gone. Okay. And you don't you don't want to hide things by selecting them and then hiding them. Because Well, you can, okay, but that's not how you don't want to hide, keep hiding things and revealing things and trying to find out where things are. Just know that you, whenever you place a marker, if so that you don't have to go back and fix it, whenever you place an interior elevation marker in your plan, set that setting hides at scales coarser than so that you don't have to go hide it in all the reflected ceiling plans, in all the roof plans, in all of the floor plans, whether they're FF and E plans or whether they're plumbing plans, it's going to show up everywhere unless you simply change that one setting so that it doesn't show up in those other um, coarser scale drawings. All right, that's about enough of that. I have kicked that horse enough. How do I stop sharing? Okay, I'm going to stop my sharing of my screen. Go back to you guys. I'm going to say, I hope that helps somebody to understand what that setting is and how to get those things to not show up in every single one of your plans and you have to go and hide them. It's just like not, not the right thing. Okay, so that's enough of that. You guys have a fantastic fantastic day. And until we meet again, happy riveting. All right. Bye-bye.